Wake up, wake up, it's the first of the month. <laughs> hey guys, so it's morning time and I thought for fun today I would just do a little get ready with me, aka put on my sunscreen and just kind of chit chat with you guys. Yeah, I woke up probably mm, about 30 minutes ago, did my blog Lottie's routine. Oh my gosh, I did her, she has like a three minute inner thigh routine that is killer you guys it's like she does this like froggy jump thing it's hard to walk after the fact <laughs> um so yeah i did that and now oh, i'm sipping on my coffee of course it's so hot right now you guys i have it cool in here it is miserably hot out right now you guys it's hot it's super humid and there's like some dust cloud that's infiltrating everything. Oh my goodness, it's agony going outside. I have it super cold in here to kind of prep myself before going out. I like to hyper cool myself uh, prior, to, prior to stepping out. But anyways, this morning I'm using, I've been loving the La Roche-Posay on Thilo's Melton Sunscreen Milk as my base layer sunscreen. It just absorbs really quickly. Um, into the skin. It has a nice kind of drying effect, which I need right now with this humidity. And so I've really been liking it. So I mentioned in my video on face shaving about the lizards outside. I don't, I think, I think technically they're called anoles, 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 I don't know. Um, but yeah, they, they're bonding <laughs> again out there. Anyways, what are you guys up to? How, how is your, today's the 1st of July. How, how is your summer going thus far? So far so good. I fired up my Erin Condren planner, my new Erin Condren planner. Um, I started dabbling in it a few days ago so i'm excited to start using that i've been doing the planner stuff a lot more lately just as like a hobby in the evening and it's really been very relaxing just kind of a nice escape to do that um so i've been enjoying it and it's been helping kind of my daily productivity so this la roche posay sunscreen it's a chemical sunscreen it has avabenzone in it for uva but it is stabilized avabenzone um and la roche posay does a good job of stabilizing it and i have to say for a chemical sunscreen this does not sting around the eyes at least for me and a lot of you guys love this product you've mentioned on my instagram that you're really liking it but some of you hate it um so i'm not sure what the distinguishing things are that people like versus dislike I do know some people feel that it leaves a bit of a white cast behind. So I think if you have a deeper skin tone, this is a chemical sunscreen that you know you might not care for. Ugh. One thing I wanted to mention though, I get a lot of questions about how to remove sunscreen stains. And honestly, I'm like the worst person to ask in terms of, I'm like the worst person to ask questions about laundering because I kind of, I only recently, like in the past year, started separating my lights and dark. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty novice in the realm of, of laundering, but Ava Benzone in chemical sunscreens will interact with any kind of iron in wash water. And I'll leave this orange stain on your clothing. It's basically a rust stain. Yeah, there's a product called Carbana Stain Devils Rust and Perspiration. They have a variety of products aimed at getting out stains and whatnot, but this one will remove sweat stains and it removes rust from fabrics. And basically the Ava Benzone Iron Orange Stain is essentially rust. And so you put it on the stain as a pre, before you put your clothes in the washing machine onto the stain. And I think you let it sit on there for a few minutes and then you rinse it out with water before putting it into the washing machine. And that should get rid of rid of those stains. But yeah, I'm horrible when it comes to the stains. I just, I don't know, I, like my steering wheel is covered with sunscreen. I just don't care that much. And my sunglasses are as well. I 
I got these new sports bras from the Amazonian and I was really excited about them. They were very flattering. They, for all intents and purposes, seemed like they were gonna be uber supportive for running, but they had this little overlap in the stitching, like right here. I went on a run last night I was like, mm, this is kind of uncomfortable. Finish the run and I have like a big red chafe mark on in the center of my chest and that is just not gonna work out. So I'm not too happy about that. I hate it when that happens. It, it's just really like, if you're gonna craft a sports bra, don't make the seams overlap to rub on the person's skin when they're running. It just seems like they should think of these things. <laughs> so yeah, I was a bit disappointed in that, but I mean, if that's if that's the the biggest letdown in my week, I think I'm I think we're doing okay. So while those sports bras were an epic fail, I did try of all things a cereal from Amazon. I haven't had cereal in a long time, but I've been seeing this on Amazon or Amazon has been trying to convince me to buy it for a while and they finally did. I caved. It is a cereal called Three Wishes, I think it's called. And it's a cereal made of like bean flowers and whatnot. Oh my goodness, it's really good. I was surprised. I, you know, I thought it was gonna taste like, I don't know, lentils and almond milk, but it's actually pretty good. So yeah, that stuff is really good. Um, you know, there are a lot of interesting foods that crop up on the Amazonian. When I lived in New York, I used to buy it at this little health food store. It's these snack crackers called splits, I think they're called. Basically, it's, uh, split pea flour and like cumin. Oh my goodness, they are so good. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying those and the cereal was also, also a win. But yeah, don't forget when you put sunscreen on, this is an area that's easy to forget right here. I've been getting a lot of questions over on Instagram about is it okay to layer chemical and mineral sunscreens together? It is. I mean, you know, a long time ago there was a lab-based study that suggested that mineral sunscreen actives like zinc or titanium dioxide would accelerate the rate of degradation of avobenzone and compromise its stability. But truthfully, in reality, that hasn't uh, proven itself to be true in, in real-time use in sunscreens and it seems to be fine. If you live somewhere that's humid, this is great because it has a little, I think it has alcohol denaturant in it. I can't remember and it's not listed on here. I, th I think it does have a little bit of alcohol. I think it does have alcohol denaturant in it, which is not the devil. Um, alcohol denaturant helps the sweat evaporate. So in normal circumstances, that can be a little drying. But in the case of this product, it's nice if you live somebody, some, somebody, why do I keep saying that? If you live somewhere, I haven't had enough coffee. If you live somewhere that's really sweaty, that little bit of alcohol denaturant, which is added to this also to help stabilize the sunscreen filters, that little bit of alcohol denaturant will help in the evaporation of the sweat off the surface of your skin and have kind of a cooling, drying effect, which a lot of people want and need. I really need it today because the humidity is, is miserable. I mean, I should show you guys my windows. <laughs> They're like all super steamy. And it's really easy to reapply it multiple times. It's water resistant. I'm gonna give myself a little glow. I've been enjoying the super gloop, super gloop, a little bit more protection against the pro pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. Somebody asked me on my Instagram if you are using tinted sunscreens and somebody asked me on my Instagram about iron oxides. Do, you, do they need to be consistently reapplied to continue to get protection against the pro pigmenting wavelengths of visible light? Yeah, uh, they do. So, you know, use a tinted sunscreen and reapply it and you should be good. If I put it on my forehead though, I look like well, life's candy in the sun, the bowl of butter. So I don't, yeah, I can't with that, but it's glowy. It's, it's glow dewy, if you will, in terms of the makeup component of it, but it actually dries pretty matte. Like that's another reason I don't like putting this all over my face is that it's just super, super matte and drying in a sense. Um, but, uh, I find that just touching, just putting it over like the base layer, I kind of like the way that it looks. But speaking of super goop, I finished up their bright eyed uh, under eye sunscreen. I did not care for that product as I shared with you all in my last 
disappointing products video. Um, but I just got, I just opened up a new color science. <clears throat> I just opened up a new color science uh, total eye three in one, whatever the long complicated name is that this has SPF 35. I love this, th this product. I know it's expensive and honestly, I have even entertained the idea of just stop using it because every time I use it, I get questions. Can I suggest an affordable dupe? And every time I try another product it just doesn't deliver. The reason I like it so much though, is that it gives a little bit of camouflage of my under eye vein and kind of brightens up the under eye area. Why do you layer so many different sunscreens on one after the other? Um, it's really just to give a different look. It's not really because that's necessary. You can use one sunscreen to all surfaces of your, all sun exposed surfaces apply several layers of it so that you avoid skip areas and that's fine. Like you don't need to use different products. I just do it because I kind of like the look of it. Now I'm gonna put on mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I adore this product. My one gripe with it is that I wish that they would discover a more tenacious ink that would actually stay on the tube because the writing and whatnot always rubs off like right away and uh, i don't know i just feel like that's something they could work on <laughs> but otherwise this product is a long-standing favorite i swear it makes my eyelashes healthier i don't know if that's all in my head but i feel like my eyelash health is just slightly slightly upgraded when i use this All right, while that dries, I'm gonna fix my hair. <laughs> yeah, I just like to comb my hair with this pick. But I cannot stand wearing my hair down in this humidity. It'll just stick to my face, regardless of what I have on my face. Did you guys ever do that thing when you were a child where like you'd go to a lake or a stream or I don't know, maybe even a pool and you'd dunk your hair in the water and then flip it back like a some kind of mermaid? It was really popular to do that, I remember. And it make like an arc of water all over the place. And if you were at a public pool, people would get annoyed with you because you're splashing them, but it was so much fun. You know, I was looking back at a thumbnail from the beginning of social distancing time around March. And my hair has grown a little bit since then. I was looking at like a video around March and I think my hair has gotten a little bit longer. But yeah, I just clamp it up in this top bun. <laughs> then I put on one of these headbands. <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, I cannot forget my lips. It ends up looking kind of nice. It goes on really white and kind of goopy, but I like it. This is the only lip SPF that I've ever been able to get along with. I like the, um, 
see how it looks weird right away? I like the Elta MD one, but I prefer this one. The Elta MD one doesn't last very long and it's not as moisturizing, but it's pretty good. Uh, it's another good one. Speaking of Elta MD, you guys, they are, um, Derm Store's having a sale right now where they're like 20% off. So if you're a fan of Elta MD, take advantage of it because I swear those sunscreens, they never go on sale. I was kind of surprised to see that. So yeah, that is my morning get ready with me. It's my skincare routine in the morning. I don't, I don't do any kind of skincare in the morning. I just get up and put the sunscreen on and that's, that's basically it. I don't wash my face or use any toners or serums or anything like that. I always get questions like, don't you use tretinoin at night? Do you need to wash it off in the morning? Yes, I use tretinoin at nighttime, but no, I don't wash it off in the morning. There's no need to do that. Um, sometimes you might be advised to do that in the beginning because it can, reduce irritation by lowering the reducing the contact time but it's not necessary um so i don't do that and yeah i mean it's just like a lot of people with oily skin might find they enjoy washing their face in the morning but i don't really need to do that and it's just another thing for me to consume and takes more time <laughs> so yeah uh i hope you all enjoyed this if so give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye